been thinking about this secret handshake for a while since Vonne mentioned it and I think has anybody noticed we don't really do handshakes? Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a secret hug? <laughs> and maybe the beginning is the heart to heart hug? <laughs> so that's as far as I tell you the secret of the diamond. <laughs> But I want to go into this network marketing is caught and not taught. And when I look at what I was taught was to, it didn't matter if you were in integrity or not, as long as you didn't get caught. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I grew up. And it was all about pretend to live up to the rules so you can stay out of mental hospital and out of jail. And then you're okay. <laughs> And, and wealth wasn't something that was around me. So it was more, it had a negativity with it. Wealthy people, these were the bad people that I didn't know. And the movies all put the wealthy people in that place and the newspaper puts the wealthy people in that place. I didn't have a positive vision of wealth at all. So I most of you know my story, I ended up as a hermit in the bush for 10 years to get away from all that. And I wouldn't be diamond or three star diamond or whatever we call it, I wouldn't be wealthy right now if I didn't have somewhere to look up to and say, yes, that I can live. And for me it was really Krista because Krista, for Krista to even want to be wealthy was an impossible thought for me <laughs> from where I knew you, right? And then for Krista to bring this opportunity to create wealth into my reality. And I'm saying, well, Krista wouldn't be there if this wasn't totally an integrity. Right? So it was that an example of integrity. And Krista wouldn't be with Michael if he wasn't totally an integrity. So I could trust. And I know Swan has been looking for this for, for a long time before. And so Swan and Lisa going with Michael and Krista and then me coming in, it was all this, it was a vision of we can get wealthy together with our friends. You know, like as a musician, Michael said to me, well, if you make it in music, in the music industry, if you really make it, you got no life because everywhere you look there's cameras and everywhere somewhere somebody with a telly and you know you, you never who you really are again you're just famous and he said to me Michael uh, in this industry you can get wealthy together with your friends and at the convention and we haven't seen a convention like that yet but there's companies who have conventions in a stadium and the leaders run up like rock stars and the whole stadium is rocking for them when they go out the back door nobody knows them we, we, we are in the industry we wouldn't know their names right? we don't know what they look like so that's what's what's here for us and and it's the vision is only as strong as the belief and so i know we've gone as fast as we could we've gone as far as we could because i know we're all doing our best every moment, every day, if you could. The mind often says I could do better, but I know if I could do better, I would. So it's actually perfect, whatever we can do. And then the next step of the leader is to say, okay, I could take it this far. Now we need somebody with more experience to take us <coughs> further faster, right? And that is, you know, like Michael Tudor and David Collins, they could be enemies. In other companies, they wouldn't talk to each other, you know. And, and for this close brotherhood that I see there, you know, that, that's just... Here comes David Collins with, with the experience of having seen it three, four, maybe five times, what we are looking forward to. He's looked forward to seeing it happen, then said, I know how it works, I can actually teach that. So then he goes to a company that's going this way and says, I can help you turn this around and go up. And then he does it with that company. It doesn't happen overnight and you get a lot of resistance from all the people who are facing this way saying, no, 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 we, we will do it all, but they're facing this way. And David comes in and says, well, if you go that way, you could have a different story. And they don't want to. It's like us saying to people who, say they want to be well but they're facing this way and we know this is 
the opposite direction to wellness and they think they've done everything right. We can't turn them around. So it's hard for a company or for a leader or for any one of us to realize if I keep doing what I know, I will only get more of what I know which is all going in that same direction. I need to listen to somebody who can show me how to go there, if I want to go there. And so on a, on a company level, Wayne Hillman realized that when David showed up. On the leaders level, the leaders accepted David and now we, our Asia Pacific leaders, have the privilege to be with David who's done as we all know, $5 billion with three companies. Those three companies may not even be in business now if they hadn't listened to that. So, but now they are the record fastest growing companies and, and $5 billion between the three of them. So when David says, this is what you do to get there, it doesn't show, it's not a dream, it's not even a vision, it's an experience. So for us, it's a vision. But the vision is only as strong as the belief. And if anybody in the pub at midnight can tell you how to run the country or how to play rugby better <laughs> than the rugby players, right? <coughs> it's an opinion. It's not a vision. But they think they know better, right? And, and life's full of those people. I grew up with those people. That's what I called when I was young. It was a disease. And now I'm trying to catch wellness rather than a disease. So I had to get out of the disease that was around me, get well enough to start catching wellness rather than catching disease. And what happens at the Diamond Retreat, what happens for you at the Platinum Dream Academy is you're catching the wellness that's in this room at that level of wellness. When we were down the road on the peninsula, we were at the level of Diamond and above. And it's, it's a different level of wellness on the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, financial and social level. The friendship we've created is on a level deeper than when you platinum and you got a friendship with Michael and Krista. When you diamond you got a different level of friendship. Right? And so that's what we did on the peninsula. We, we had a good time at our level of friendship. And there is room for a thousand. At that, you know, but the, yeah, everything's moving faster and faster every time somebody else comes into the top level leadership. There's more energy there. We, we're all just energy. We need more energy to go further faster. And I, I'm just so grateful for David's input and for coming all this way to share. You know, and, and, and there's nobody in your downline here, which is kind of amazing that you bother to come and train us you know, and share all your I wouldn't call them secrets because in our industry, it's, this is a new paradigm we don't do secrets, we mm -hmm. turn it upside down, David shares everything he can possibly share with us and that's the privilege of this event now, so I stop talking and <laughs> who hasn't talked? Kev hasn't talked, okay, but I so look forward to David coming up here <laughs>